Ephesus is an ancient archaeological site located in western Turkey. It is considered one of the must-stops for any trip through western Turkey. The city is known for its impressive classical Greco-Roman structures, and is often compared to Pompeii, as one of the best surviving examples of a Greco-Roman city. Ephesus was once a vibrant metropolis with over 250,000, making it the fourth largest city in the Roman Empire. It was a center of trade, attracting merchants, sailors, and pilgrims, who visited the famous Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Legend has it that in the 11th century BC, the Ionian prince Andrew Close, founded Ephesus after seeking advice from the Oracle of Delphi, to discover a new Greek city. According to the Oracle's prediction, he would find a new place accompanied by a boar and a fish. One day, while Andrew Close was cooking fish over an open fire, one of the fish jumped out of the pan and fell into a nearby bush. A wild boar took off after a spark ignited the bushes. Inspired by these events, Andrew Close founded Ephesus on the site where the bushes once stood, remembering the oracle's predictions. Another story claims that Ephesus was founded by a group of warrior women known as the Amazons, and the city's name comes from the name of their queen, Ephesia. The Odeon of ancient Ephesus stands as a petite and graceful amphitheater originally erected during the 2nd century AD. Its construction was generously supported by Publius Vedius Antonius and his wife Flavia Piana, reflecting their patronage of the arts and public gatherings. The purpose of this magnificent structure encompassed a myriad of activities, including political assemblies, social gatherings, captivating concerts, and captivating theatrical performances. Today, visitors to Ephesus can explore the well-preserved ruins and imagine the ancient city bustling with activity. The streets are lined with fountains, statues, monuments, temples, the Great Library, residences, the Agora, and the theater. Excavated and renovated structures of the city offer a glimpse of the grandeur of ancient Ephesus, although it is estimated that only 20% of the city has been excavated so far. Ephesus was also an important city for early Christianity. It was the home of one of the most influential Christian churches in the province, and the Apostle John is believed to have spent a significant amount of time there. The Book of Revelation in the Bible includes a letter to the church at Ephesus, in which Jesus praises their orthodoxy but rebukes them for leaving their first love. The letter emphasizes the importance of repentance and returning to their original love and zeal for Christ. The terrace houses of Ephesus are a hidden gem that many visitors overlook. These houses belonged to wealthy families and were built with incredible craftsmanship. The walls are decorated with beautiful frescoes, and the floors are covered in mosaics. 
The Temple of Hadrian was built in the 2nd century AD and was dedicated to the Roman Emperor Hadrian. It is known for its impressive facade, which features beautiful carvings and sculptures. This is the Celsus Library, one of the most iconic landmarks in Ephesus. It was built in the 2nd century AD in honor of the Roman senator Tiberius Julius Celsus Polymianus by his son Gaius Julius Aquila. The library was one of the largest in the ancient world, with over 12,000 scrolls. The Great Theatre of Ephesus is another spectacular landmark that cannot be missed. It was built in the 3rd century BC and could seat up to 25,000 spectators. The theatre was used for plays, music, and political rallies. The Arcadian Way, 
also known as the Arcadian or Harbor Street, was a significant road connecting the city to the harbor. It was originally established during the Hellenistic era but underwent a major redesign under Emperor Arcadius from 395 to 408 AD. The Church of the Virgin Mary holds the distinction of being the inaugural place of worship dedicated to the revered Mother of Christ. Situated in Ephesus, it stands as the most remarkable architectural edifice from the era of Christianity. Constructed during the 3rd century, it was built upon the foundation of a pre-existing structure. Architecturally, this magnificent building takes the form of a basilica, featuring a central nave flanked by two aisles. The aisles themselves were divided into smaller sections, potentially serving as commercial spaces. Presently, the most impeccably preserved segment of the church is a cylindrical baptistry, positioned in the northern region of the atrium. Within the heart of this baptistry resided a pool, facilitating the complete immersion of the baptized individuals in the water. Ephesus Turkey Ancient City is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in history, culture, and architecture. These ruins offer a glimpse into a bygone era and are a testament to the incredible achievements of our ancestors. So, what are you waiting for? Come and explore this incredible city for yourself.